We're on the moon here with another insight or what have you. But um, last night I released a song called Light. And this song I made originally just a rap song. And then I shared it with some people and they loved it, right? And something came over me one day. I just revisited it and then I wanted to do something completely different. I wanted to add ad-libs that were completely unlike any ad-libs I've ever done in my life. And it was definitely very different or unique per se. And um, me doing this completely changed how the song sounded, like almost completely. And consciously, I know what's very likable. Like, I've grown up my whole life staying and doing or staying in the box of what is likable and not really venturing too far outside of what would be considered likable. So, I was very successful at being liked my entire life. I've always been liked wherever I went but I've never really felt respected, ever. And I was just thinking on it. And it's ironic how you can be very highly liked, but lowly respected. But some of the people who are very highly disliked are very highly respected. And it made me think on what type of person I want to be. Do I want to be liked or do I want to be respected? And it's not per se that I want to be disliked at all. I feel like I can achieve that healthy balance. But me releasing this song, I feel like triggered me in a way because like I even cringe when other people if I, I just heard my mom play it this morning, she didn't know I was awake. And it made me cringe like, damn, I don't want you to hear me. I don't want you to hear it. Even though I put it out, I know I put it out. But I don't want to be conscious that you heard me. Like, I just want to put it out there and just fucking leave it. Because it's already enough for me to step this far out, out of my own box and do something that I know I'm not used to doing, but y'all are definitely not used to seeing out of me. And it was just a whole mental thing. Like it was really scary to put myself out there in a way that I know could not be liked. And that shit takes courage. And I think why some of the most disliked people are highly respected is because they respect themselves enough to not care if people dislike them. And so their self-respect, their self-respect reflects to respect in general. And when you're likable, you're very agreeable and you may betray yourself many, many times to maintain likability. And so I guess I'm becoming or trying to become more comfortable with the idea that people won't like me, won't like what I do. Because at the end of the day, even trying to be likable and agreeable my whole existence, I still ended up with envy. I still ended up with people that really didn't like me. And they just didn't have a reason not to like me. You feel me? They had no reason to not like me. But they didn't like me anyways. And they would just search for the reason. So, at the end of the day, I respect myself and be true to myself regardless. See where that gets me this time.